We've taken you through throwing drills and showed you a lot of tee work. Now the next progression that we're going to make with our hitters is actually throw a ball at them. And we're going to begin by kind of controlling the distance and the drills that we're going to go through right now are called toss drills. Uh, toss drills meaning that the ball is going to be tossed, but there's a lot of things to think about when you're doing these properly. Number one, hitting is timing, hitting is rhythm, so you always want to give the hitter some type of mechanism to time. So if you watch me do all these drills, you're going to see me always take my hand back, which now gives that hitter the indication that it's time to get, get into the negative move. And then as my hand comes back down to the release point, they know they need to be down to toe touch and ready to hit. But anything that you do, make sure you do it. Also, it's not how many you do. These aren't speed drills. They're not endurance tests. Obviously, we want quality versus quantity. I'd rather see a young lady come out and take 100 good cuts, nothing less than 100, but 100 good cuts versus coming out here and playing rapid fire and seeing how many you can get done in five minutes. Okay, so make sure that you're always controlling uh, the things that you're doing with these drills. You need a good feeder, and then obviously you need to focus as a hitter. Let's begin with the side toss. And side toss can be done, any of our drills, with a variety of balls. Obviously, safety is important. And if you're working with young kids, I would start off using wiffle balls because they aren't always as accurate as our elite players. Because one of the bad things about toss drills is if I make a mistake tossing the ball, you know, where should she hit that ball? Right back at me. But what will happen is she'll try to hook that ball to protect me and start creating bad habits. So don't be scared to use Wiffle balls, I like to use um, different size wiffle balls, baseball size wiffle balls, um, golf ball size wiffle balls, different colored balls. There's a lot of variety that you can throw in there uh, when working with these drills. But make sure that your safety is always an important factor when it comes to hitting drills. I personally like to use a regular ball because there's nothing better than the feel of hitting through a regular ball. It's just a little different when you're hitting wiffle balls all the time and then now the pitcher throws a regular ball, it looks a little bit heavier. I'd rather use a little heavier ball than go to a light ball than vice versa. So let's begin by looking at the side toss drill. The key to this drill is really having a good feeder so that they understand what they're trying to do. My job is to try to put the ball right at her front hip. Okay? And if, she puts, if I put it at her front hip, she's going to hit the ball right up the middle, which is what we're looking for. The second thing is I'm going to get at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to give her a timing mechanism so that she can work off that and then we're going to toss the ball nice and easily and she's going to hit. Again, creating some rhythm. That was almost a bad swing, I mean a bad toss right there. Okay. Now, if we want to work on the inside pitch and work on pulling the pitch, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to move, we're not going to move the screen, we're just going to have her open up or close at a 45 toward me. Again, I'm going to throw to her front hip, and now she's got to work on really getting her hands out, which would simulate what it feels like to hit the inside pitch. Okay? Then if we're going to work the outside pitch, we do the opposite. We open up. Again, I'm always throwing to her front hip. Okay, now score up again. Now some variety that you can do, one, I do this sometimes with wiffle balls, I'll take two balls in my hand, different color balls, I'll throw two at one time, tell her to either hit the top or bottom ball. Again, if you want to increase the focus of your hitters, you can do fun things. So I'm going to throw two, I'll tell her to hit top or bottom, ready? Top. Okay. Bottom. Again, she's got to stay focused on that top. That's a good little drill to work on, but make sure that you make it game-like by giving them a timing mechanism.